Good afternoon, YouTube. Still at Alba Garden Metro Park. You can see clearly they bring the four wheelers back here of maintenance vehicles, the tire tracks. <laughs> Definitely a mushy area. Yeah, this is a little bit of a mushy area. Or, yeah, this is near a boardwalk, so you can see why it... Although this boardwalk is not raised that much, we're... We haven't been down this one yet, but it's... I think if we keep going, have to make a turn to the left and, woof, let's see here, wet woods uh, loop, well, I don't know, yeah, we're, we'll figure this out, let's see, we walked this way when we came, mm-hmm, we sure did. And we came back to this way. Let's see what this. Yeah, we haven't been down that one yet. Yeah. Because there's a trail that leads further down to Meeker Road that. Yeah, this kind of cuts through the little pine forest. Yeah, this trail we haven't been down yet, so... Yeah, if we end up back on the other way, we'll find, we'll follow the prairie loop out. Yeah, this, yeah, this, I believe we have passed through this. Well, we'll go south from uh, Allwood Road is what takes you to that parking area. Yeah. We saw earlier. Yeah, well, yeah, the south kind of takes us over to Meeker Road area of the park. Because this is considered the south park of Anglewood Metro Park or Anglewood Reserve, whatever the hell they call it. Yeah, we passed through this a few minutes ago, but we'll... Mm -hmm. We'll see if we see a turn that goes right from here. If not, we'll walk the prairie loop. There's someone out here. What? I hear jangling a key. That might be mine. Nah, over that way, behind us. Oh, okay. Way. Yeah, it's funny. I didn't even hear it, and I can hear pretty good. I hear yours too, but... Yeah. This comes from a way different direction. Must not be much sound out here except the birds if you could hear it that good. You can hear some cars <laughs> off in the distance. Yeah. But it's a faint, you know, rumble. Oh, uh, there's no park I've been to in the area where you're going to be completely devoid of noise. Oh, yeah. Man-made noise is extremely pervasive. I mean, Twin Creek... You have that stupid train. That's pretty quiet for the most part, except for that darn train that passes through. 
a hundred gazillion times a day. Well, shoot, I could have just taken that train from uh, the trailer park I lived in down Miamisburg straight to there. Instead of having to walk it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why not? I rode the, the train before to get up to downtown Dayton, so. Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. Well, it moves slow enough you can hop on. Oh, yeah, the trains don't move that fast. They're not built for... Through there? Oh, yeah. Through there they go real hey. slow. We're back out at the prairie, so we're going to go this way, continue oh. north. We're going to continue this way because we're obviously... What? Bird. Where at? I can't... Right over there. It's flying over the prairie. Oh, yeah. I can't tell what it is from here. I got a brief glimpse of it up close, but not good enough to identify. Yeah, we'll just go this way because... Not much of a bird spotter though. I'm not either. Looks like a predator for, based on the wind profile. I don't think it's a bald eagle. No. Maybe it's a heron, maybe? No, it's definitely not a heron. They have a distinctive neck. Yeah. Looks like some type of hawk. Well, he's circling something, which means there's something dead down there. Yeah, he's... Yeah, he's, he's looking for it. something, yeah. Or maybe some kind of... It could be a squirrel that he's looking to pluck. Mm. It could be a squirrel, because predators will hunt squirrels, too. Huh, bring me squirrel. You know, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure there are some black squirrels in here. I mentioned black squirrels earlier. They're more... They're more in, 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 in the province of Ontario and Canada and up in Michigan. Mm -hmm. But there have been some people that have brought them here. I have seen them at Taylorsville. At Taylorsville. The I've black seen, squirrels. I've seen a couple down Hawking Hills. Oh, uh, black squirrels? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a gray squirrel, but it's a different mutant color gene. My they favorite. say it's more in the northern hardwoods, further north than Ohio. And sometimes we'll see albino squirrels. I've seen a couple albinos at Hills and Dale, but not really a whole lot. You ever seen any flying elsewhere. squirrels in the area? I don't know if I have or not. I don't, if I have, I don't really recognize it. Uh, I have or a know it. Columbus, but I haven't yet to see one down here. You alright? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Oh yeah. I know one of the trails back here will lead further. We know we haven't been back in this area yet. Nope. The prairie. Well, I'm climbing that thing. Oh, I am too. What spot up ahead? Yeah. Oh well, what the heck. Yeah, I believe these trails lead further back to, to Meeker Road, but we'll explore that in a little bit. We'll go up this little observation tower. Maybe do a separate view. Yeah, you see the Boy Scout symbol from back. Yeah, I think this trail does lead further back. I guess the Troop number 204, Anglewood Metro Park. Wetwoods Farm. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, this. Yeah, this does lead over that way. I do know that much because it, 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 because it exits out right over there. Nice little. Oh, this is well built. Yeah. They used to have a steps hill at Taylorsville Metro Park years ago, but they stopped maintaining it due to erosion.
just a beautiful observation. We walked through the area there to where I'm pointing the camera at now. I'm gonna I'm gonna end this one and then start a video just kind of observing this. Yeah, because it says pointed towards Anglewood Metro Park there. That's the part that goes towards Meeker Road. That's 